Scene Script Have you ever wondered how a major web infrastructure company like Cloudflare could fall victim to a cyber attack? Picture this. Between the 14th and 24th of November, 2023, a cyber attacker, likely backed by a nation state, broke into Cloudflare's Atlassian server. And guess what? They did it using stolen credentials. But this wasn't some hasty, reckless intrusion. Oh no, this attacker was sophisticated, methodical, almost surgical in their approach. They were like a chess player, carefully planning their moves, anticipating the responses and always staying one step ahead of their opponent. Their prize wasn't just a quick smash and grab of data. They had a more ambitious goal. They wanted persistent, widespread access to Cloudflare's global network. They were looking to establish a foothold, a back door, which could allow them to come and go as they pleased, wreaking havoc and siphoning off valuable information. The attacker had their sights set on obtaining persistent and widespread access to Cloudflare's global network. So, what was the attacker's game plan? Well, imagine a chess player meticulously studying the board before making a move. That's how the attacker operated. Over a span of four intense days, the attacker was on a reconnaissance mission. Their goal? To understand and exploit the vulnerabilities of Cloudflare's system. But the attacker didn't stop there. They went on to create a rogue user account, a ghost in the machine, if you will. The purpose of this account? To gain unauthorized access to Cloudflare's Atlassian server. It was like having a secret key to a treasure chest. From there, the attacker moved on to the Bitbucket source code management system using something known as the Sliver Adversary Simulation Framework. To put it simply, the Sliver Framework was like a master key, allowing the attacker to navigate and manipulate the system with ease. The attacker then started rifling through the digital files, viewing an estimated 120 code repositories. These repositories held a wealth of information such as data on backups, network configuration, identity management, and remote access. It was like getting a backstage pass to Cloudflare's operations. But the attacker didn't just view these repositories. They exfiltrated an estimated 76 of them. Imagine someone walking into a library, scanning the most valuable books, and then walking out with the digital copies of these books. That's essentially what happened here. The attacker's actions revealed a deliberate and calculated plan to gain as much valuable information as possible. So what did the attacker actually get away with? Well, it's not a simple snatch and grab, mind you. The stolen data was a treasure trove of technical documentation, akin to a blueprint of Cloudflare's vast global network. This included information on backups and network configurations, which are essential for understanding the network's structure and how to potentially exploit it. The attacker also accessed data on identity management and remote access. This could provide insights into the security measures in place and how to bypass them. Furthermore, they got their hands on details about the use of Terraform and Kubernetes, two powerful tools used in modern tech infrastructure for managing services and applications. Knowing how these are employed could give the attacker an even deeper understanding of Cloudflare's system. The attacker didn't stop there. They even tried to access a console server in Sao Paulo, Brazil, which indicates the global reach of their intentions. In essence, the attacker had obtained a significant amount of valuable information. This goes beyond simple data theft and enters the realm of strategic espionage, an attempt to understand, infiltrate, and potentially disrupt the operations of one of the world's leading web infrastructure companies. How did Cloudflare respond to this breach? This is the question on everyone's mind, isn't it? Well, the web infrastructure giant didn't take the attack lying down. Quite the opposite, in fact. Upon detecting the breach, Cloudflare took immediate steps to secure their systems. They rotated over 5,000 production credentials, a hefty task in itself, but necessary to lock out any potential intruders. Not stopping there, they segmented their test and staging systems, adding an extra layer of security to their operations. But the precautionary measures didn't end there. To ensure no stone was left unturned, Cloudflare conducted forensic triages on nearly 5,000 systems. They dug deep, examining every nook and cranny for any signs of intrusion. 
And to top it all off, they re-imaged and rebooted every machine across their global network. A complete system refresh, if you will. Recognizing the importance of an unbiased analysis, they also engaged the cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike for an independent assessment. A second pair of expert eyes to comb through their systems and validate their security measures. Cloudflare's response was swift and comprehensive, but the attack was a stark reminder of the cybersecurity challenges faced by even the most sophisticated tech companies. This attack on Cloudflare demonstrates the importance of robust cybersecurity measures. In this case, we've seen a sophisticated nation-state attack unfold, with the aim of gaining persistent and widespread access to Cloudflare's global network. The impact was far-reaching, with unauthorized access to key documentation and source code. However, Cloudflare's response was swift and comprehensive, showcasing the importance of preparedness and resilience in the face of such threats. If you found this video informative and would like to stay updated on similar tech news, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Remember, in the world of tech, knowledge is power.